but let's see somebody who can definitely uh, cool things down and heat things up, depending on the mm -hmm. story. Our favorite morning news anchor, KRQ News 13, Elizabeth Alvarez. Hello. Good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning. Happy Monday, ladies. Good to see you. Good to see you. Happy Monday to you at home. We begin this morning talking about how today a grand jury must decide if there is enough evidence to officially charge a man accused of stabbing several people in a local church. The attack happened about two weeks ago at St. Jude Thaddeus Church in Northwest Albuquerque. Investigators say Lawrence Kapner stabbed several people with a knife as mass was ending. They say he did it because he thought the choir leader was a Freemason. All the victims, by the way, are okay. We'll keep you posted on his case. An Albuquerque grandmother is expected to be okay after a Mother's Day celebration turned into a scary situation. Police say 74 year old Merced Estrada was hit in the head by a stray bullet as she stood on the church footsteps of San Juan Parish Sunday. Her family says she was in a crowd of people chatting before the 1230 mass when the bullet hit her. Police believe someone from a nearby neighborhood may have fired a shot. Estrada's family spent Mother's Day at the emergency room. It was surprising that it was outside of the church and someone would be around the area shooting while uh, the majority of the people go to church on on Sundays. Yeah, very unfortunate situation there. Her grandson, by the way, says that the round did puncture a vein and that his grandmother had a slight crack in her skull. Today we could find out what will happen with the dozens of dogs that were seized from a home in Edgewood last month. A court in Santa Fe is having an emergency hearing to decide what to do with Deborah Clopton's dogs. She used to be a veterinarian and is now accused of hoarding animals. Investigators seized 48 dogs from her home. Three had to be euthanized, but some of the others have had puppies, and now the number is up to 78. On Friday, Clopton had a deadline to pay the city to care for the dogs, but she missed it. So now the shelter is stuck with a $40,000 bill. The problem is the mothers are still a part of the case, so we can't really separate them or, or take them to foster care or, or something like that until we get permission to do that. The shelter hopes the court will give it custody of the dog so it can get them adopted or put them in foster homes. Students in Albuquerque will be celebrating graduation all this week. The ceremonies will be held at Tingley Coliseum at Expo New Mexico. Graduations for alternative schools will be held at the National Hispanic Cultural Center. Videos of the 2013 graduation ceremonies will be posted on the APS High School graduation website within a day or so of the ceremony. We do have a link on our website of all the graduation dates and times. Just head to krqe.com and click on KRQE links. The Albuquerque Biopark Zoo has now has a name for the new baby giraffe. The female giraffe born on April 20th is now named ABQ or Abby for short. And guess what? In addition, the zoo had their first ever gender reveal party over the weekend for their newest arrival. The zoo gave the orangutans a box to open and look at that revealing pink paper. So there you have it. It's going to be a girl. By the way, the public is invited, of course, to vote on the new name for the baby. The choices right now are Pixie, Cyan, Bet, and Indy. And if you go to our website, karakiwi.com, we have a link on where you can submit your vote for what name you like. That wraps it up for your Monday morning headlines. Be sure to catch Matt, Kristen, and myself every weekday morning on KRQE News 13 beginning at 4.30 a.m. All right, ladies, going to send it back to you. Thanks, Elizabeth. Thank Have you. a wonderful week. Thank I love you. looking at those animals at the zoo. Yeah.